Hey there, I was just reading the beginning of Exodus. Did you know that Moses is accredited for writing the first five books of the Old Testament? He's certainly a legend among the Jews and Christians alike. He gets a lot of credit for stepping out in faith and doing some extraordinary things. Right now, we're living in some extraordinary times, aren't we? So how do we go from ordinary to extraordinary in moments like these? Moses' life has a lot of great examples, but it all started with his mom. Jochebed was her name, the mother of Moses. You see, Joseph's reputation had long been forgotten amongst the modern-day pharaohs at this point in history. And in fact, the Israelis who once saved Egypt and the known world from a famine was now looked upon as a threat to the nation of Egypt. And so the current pharaoh decided to kill all the male Hebrew babies at birth by throwing them into the Nile River. And Jochebed, who had just given birth to Moses, had the courage to stand up against this oppression and defy the order. She kept Moses hidden for three months. If she were to be caught, her whole family could have been killed. But at a time came when she couldn't do it anymore in her own strength, she had to rely on God like never before, to trust God like never before. She had to take what at the time was her whole world and to put it into a basket and allow it to float away down the river and to trust that God had it from there. During this difficult time, there will only be so much we can physically and emotionally do to get through this on our own. A point comes when we have to turn our needs, our desires, our problems, all of it, over to God. We have to put it in a basket and turn it over to Him. When Jochebed put Moses in the basket, she couldn't control the elements when she let go. The currents could have taken Moses to who knows where down the river. The basket could have flipped. The baby could have drowned. Oh, and did I mention that the waters were crocodile infested? Think about that for just a moment. What is it today that you need to put in a basket? What is it that you need to say, God, I can't, but you can? Let's pray. Father, I want to pray for the folks out there that are having some significant needs And those needs just need to be met, God. I pray, God, that you would help them and begin to help them let go of trying to control the circumstances and simply put it in a basket and let you have it. Because once we relinquish control, once we let go and let you have it, you can do so much more than we ever could. And we pray these things in Jesus' name. 